Welcome, welcome again. Today, I'm going to talk about the power of agape in marriage. The same thing uh, in another way would be the power of unconditional love in marriage. I'm going to share with you today how God's love can really transform your marriage. And so if you are struggling in your marriage, if you have been experiencing some challenges in your marriage you discovered that your the conflicts in your marriage has increased you no longer connect with your wife the way you used to you want peace and joy in your marriage for some reason it's not there right now i want to show you what is possible when you allow god's love to be released in your heart first and then through you, you you will be amazed at how God can turn a person's life and marriage around simply by trusting in Him. If you're meeting me for the very first time, my name is Adi Subanjo. I am a pastor and an unconditional love coach. I help men and women sometimes um, hit their goals in marriage. If you have a goal for your marriage, Especially when you find that your marriage is struggling, you are you can see that your marriage is about to be broken and you you have tried so many things and it's not working. You are a believer, you want to do things God's way, you you love God and you're wondering, am I just gonna watch my marriage shatter and break and be destroyed? How can I turn that around? That's what I help men do. I help you change the trans your marriage from where you don't know how to turn it around to a beautiful place that you wanted you've always wanted it to be. If you are if not if you are joining us for the first first time and you like what you're hearing so far, you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. I'll be very happy to share with you all the wonderful things that God puts in my heart and experiences that I have to help you move your marriage forward. I do that every weekday when I'm in Canada. And when I'm not in Canada, which happens a lot more in the second half of the year, I do some videos and I post them. So if you want to continue to be blessed by the messages and trainings that I provide here on this channel, then please do subscribe. And if this, if you are blessed by today's live stream, then like it and share with your friends and family. So let's talk about the first thing. What do people want in marriage? Always, that's where I always like to start. And usually when anyone wants to work with me, the first question, um, the first set of questions I ask them, one of those is, what would you like to see one year from now if you can work with me? And I get various answers. Here are some of the common ones. Uh, usually when men come to me, they are in danger of losing their marriage. And so I always get, I want my wife to be back home. Um, I want us to be able to communicate without fighting. I want to be able to understand and connect with my wife as it was at the beginning. Those are some of the things I've heard from the men. From the women, they just say, I want peace in my home. I want violence uh, to stop or abuse to stop in my home. And I want more peace, more joy. So in, in your own opinion, what is it that you're looking for? What, what are you, why are you watching this video? Is it because you've, you are real, you've realized that your marriage is it's not working? And if, if things continue the way they are right now, you can see a divorce. You can see a separation. Or maybe you are already separated and you're wondering, is there a way to get her back? And my answer is always yes. If you learn to tap into God's love, your answer, you will be able to get your wife back most of the time. So that being said, I want you to know that if you want your marriage to be transformed, if you learn how to tap into God's love, your marriage will be transformed. There's one main scripture that I want you to look at 
as we engage this topic. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, I'm reading in the New King James Version. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the loss of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. When a person is being led by the flesh, that what the Scripture is calling the flesh as the natural human nature to be self-centered and self-selfish and protect oneself, what happens is your spirit will begin to resist that because God operates by love, and God is love, and love is not self selfish. It's not self centered or self-directed love thinks about the other and wants to serve the other and so the flesh always lusts against the spirit that's verse 17 of galatians chapter 5 the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh so there's a conflict the flesh will always fight against the spirit and these are contrary to one another why what happens is that when you met with the lord jesus christ you became transformed and your spirit became renewed. Now your spirit wants to obey God and operate by love. But your mind, your experience, your feelings want to continue to protect yourself and be God. So you now have a conflict where you are doing what you don't want to do, what your spirit doesn't want to do. The real you is your spirit. So what your spirit doesn't want to do, your flesh, your natural tendencies will force you to do them and then you begin to find they really not force you ties you and you find that the enemy the devil then works with your flesh to put you in bondage and so you find yourself doing things that you don't want to do and that's why marriages struggle in the first place so if we're going to fix a marriage we need to find out where the problem is so let's let's take a, a scenario where a husband says to me and there are many things that happened to us when we got married and I was sometimes very disconnected. I just focused on my work and my wife complained that I was disconnected. I she didn't feel that I loved her and I would say one or two things and sometimes I didn't even care. But then one day I discovered that she stopped complaining and she doesn't talk to me anymore in the house and she doesn't respect me and she can when she comes home she's just cold and i think the marriage is going to break how can you help me with that now when i hear something like that i i want to say where is the problem coming from the problem comes from the flesh so he was acting in the flesh she's acting in the flesh so natural selfish lifestyle that christ delivers us from they are acting like that and so there's a clash of the flesh and both of them have reacted so she was trying to repair the marriage for years and years and he didn't listen and then she got tired of it he decided to also protect herself and act in the flesh yeah if if, if a man gets filled with the, with the spirit of god filled with agape he would, where, this is what happens. He is now able by the love of God that's in his heart to, number one, deal with his own hurt that enabled, that made him to treat his wife in such a shameless, uh, a shameful manner. Uh, disconnecting from her and not recognizing a pain. He, he begins to see that. Then when the love of God fills a man's heart, he also sees why she's reacting the way she's reacting. He can see the pain that she's going through. He feels and um, empathizes with her rather than just angry that she's not respecting him. He can he, The love of God makes him to see her pain. And that's the, the, the two things. And then the third one is that the love of God then enables him to see how to relieve her from the pain. You don't need her to change before you start changing. This is what 
God's love does in your heart. It makes you to see how much God loves you. And it makes you to begin to really focus on becoming more like God wants you to be, regardless of who triggers you or not. That's it for today. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and, and uh, put in the in the comments, in the chat. I will be happy to answer your question. Now, if this has blessed you in any way, please don't forget to like the video and share it with others who will be blessed by it. And if you are subscribed to the channel, thank you for subscribing. Now, if you're not, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. All right? Bye for now.